Hey folks, we're up here in New Hampshire today talking about cases for traveling with firearms. A couple of weeks ago, the company Plastic Case sent me their Nanook 990, which is this tan rifle case. And we took a look at that and we took a look at some of the features. Extremely uh, heavy duty, something you can travel with, something that you could put on your 4x4. If it gets wet, there's a seal, there's a gasket seal, it's got these claw. Uh, locks around the outside of the case and it's one of those you know cases from a hunting standpoint bow hunting that you could just take with you and go and not worry about it they've got dozens and dozens of different styles so one of the things I asked was if we could do a review of a slightly different style case that I think a lot of AR shooters uh, tend to use or I certainly do I use a smaller case break the rifle or carbine in two and then put it into the case. So they sent the 925 and what I really like about the designs of these cases is the fact that you can, because of, they have two layers of foam in here and the foam is scored so you can cut out the shape of whatever gear you want to do and you can also put one on the lower end down here. So the, the depth of the, the foam that you're cutting out, you know, isn't much. It's maybe a half inch or so. So it just forms the shape of whatever gun or whatever material you want to put inside it. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to actually break the guns apart. We'll put them in. And again, I have not cut the foam yet, but you'll see once the foam was cut, I could actually take two ARs. One has a 16-inch barrel with a pinned and welded one inch battle comp and the other one is a 15 or 14 and a half with a pinned and welded uh, battle comp as well. So what we've got is we've got one that's slightly longer and it's just going to take up at, at a diagonal here the full length but the other one fits in quite nicely and I'm able to get two complete ARs in a relatively small package that is lockable so I can actually lock it and store it it's protected with this gasket here around here up to I think six seven feet of water significant so if it ends up in a river or something right it's probably gonna float and as it's floating it's not gonna um, ruin my gun so hopefully it'll never end up in a river right let me take the guns apart and we'll show you what that looks like right now so what you should see here is diagonally we've got the 16 inch barrel and then up in the corner here, what we have is we have the actual lower of the carbine itself. So what I'm eventually going to do is I will cut out that foam to that shape. And then I will take the upper piece of foam right here. And because that's cut down a little bit, it'll actually compress. And then I'm doing the same thing with this carbine here, which is I'm going to break this apart here and here and lay it in the same way. So what again, this is giving me the flexibility to carry two carbines in a case that's relatively small that doesn't necessarily look like a rifle case. So, um, you know, it's just, uh, I, from my standpoint, it's a better way to actually transport firearms. And since it's a lockable case, you know, that's important because it keeps people who should not have access to the firearm um, from having access. So we're gonna drop this one in here real quick and I'll show you as well. So we do the exact same thing. Here I might actually go the other way. So we lay that um, upper in that way and then we do something here. And again, I just have to play with the foam a little bit to figure out exactly where that would be positioned. But you can see we just cut that out like that. And that would give us the ability, again, two carbines. And I'm not gonna go ahead and crush the foam because they haven't cut it out, but you can see it works. So anyway, I strongly uh, suggest that if you're looking for a top-end professional case for your firearms that you check out, Plastic Case, their Nanook series, um, they make dozens and dozens and dozens of different options and different styles. So whatever your gear is, cameras to guns to bows to computers, uh, they probably got something to work for you. Hey, thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay safe.